Today we went Funko Pop hunting for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Funko Pops. Let's get collected. Okay guys, so they do have some really cool stuff in the case today. Hungry Big Mom, My Hero Academia, Moon Girl, The Devil Dinosaur. Do have the two-pack Nebula and Mantis, Black Light, Super Sick. We basically a chase case here guys. Very nice. Really like that Poison Spider-Man and that Superman. And some cool ones up here too, guys. Ronald McDonald. We do have that Flocked Kong with Battle Axe. That's definitely a sick one, guys. Super cool. And the Miles Morales art series. Very nice. Lots of cool looking sodas, guys. Do have the No Peace Count Rocket and also Star-Lord there. Do have the Chase Sentinel, guys. I was lucky enough to pick that up not too long ago. But you also have the Hotel Tower Mickey and the Ride, which is super sick. Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, that is awesome. Fantasia cover, really, really sick, guys. And the Darth Vader, that looks like he's going to the bathroom. Over on this side, guys, we do have some WrestleMania pop here. This one's pretty sick, if you ask me. John Cena and The Rock. Do have some art series protectors down there, guys. Black Adam cover. That one's super sick and new. Star Wars pops here, guys. So we do have the new Pride pops, which I think they did a fantastic job of this year. I love the colors on those ones. And you do have the Walmart exclusive gold Darth Maul, which is also a pretty sick one, as well as Ray. So those ones are co pretty cool as well. Also Mandalorian, guys, really like that exclusive, as well as Dark Trooper with Grogu. Super, super sick. A couple of my favorites from Thor Love and Thunder, Gore with Stormbreaker and Ravager Thor playing Stormbreaker as a guitar. And then up here, guys, we do have some new across the spider-verse pops guys so we were lucky enough to find this 2099 spider-man glow in the dark entertainment earth exclusive so that's super sick and the spot guys really really sick and coming across here guys we do have some new ones so that is the new miles morales venom which is very very sick as well and we do have the new webman so really like that one as well and some more chases here guys Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, that one's really cool. Fulger Law, Spider-Man, Japanese TV series, super, super sick. Okay guys, so we're back and we had a pretty good trip. So as you guys did see, I was lucky enough to find some really sick across the Spider-Verse Funko Pops and a few others that I've been on the hunt for. I also got another Star-Lord Funko Soda, guys. So I have already opened two of these guys, so we're gonna open it up at the end of the video and let's hope we can get that chase, finally. Starting off here though, guys, this was definitely an unexpected find, and this is the new Webman. So this is from the Beyond Amazing line, guys. I don't know if they just left that sticker off. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with that one, but uh, they usually do have a Beyond Amazing sticker on there, maybe because the Entertainment Earth one's so big they didn't want to take up the whole window, but super cool pop, guys. Definitely not one that I know much about. I'm not really sure who Webman Man is the fact that it's a spider-man pop is why I got it but if you do know anything about webman definitely drop a comment down below I am just gonna pop this guy out of the box here for you guys this is looking super super sick guys oh yeah I'm definitely glad I got that out of the box for you guys so super sick colors on him guys I love the red on him and I really like the white blue I just think those colors work really well together and he's in a nice swinging pose on his stand there so great job Funko and next up out of the chase case guys finally we got the poison spider-man so for anyone who doesn't live in Canada I've mentioned this before but this will give you a good idea of how behind on most pops we usually are like this literally just came to stores in Canada but anyways guys definitely a really sick one really really enjoy that one guys that one is awesome looking I really like how it's kind of dirty looking, like they really did a good job kind of just weathering, making it a little bit weathered looking. And next up guys, so I did get two Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Funko Pops. I got this Miles and a really sick one, definitely hit the jackpot to tell you the truth. So we'll go through Miles and get to that one. But I do really like this Miles guys, definitely a really cool common, my favorite of the line and I just wanted to get Miles from the movie. Oh yeah. Taking this one out guys, definitely looks super sick. Really, really like that one. Good detail 
on it guys you can almost see they painted some of basically the texture of his suit on there so i really like how funko did that and again love how he's on the stand and in a jumping pose i just think that adds an extra dimension that is just really nice touch and they also make this in a 10 inch which I think would be a super cool display piece. And definitely the jackpot hit of the day, guys. So we have the Spider-Man 2099 Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive. I was really not sure I was gonna be able to get my hands on this, guys. I was really hoping I was gonna be able to, but as I just said, Canada is super behind, especially for exclusives. So commons usually get here barely on time, I should say. But to get this exclusive this early is actually super rare in my opinion. And and they, it was also priced really reasonably at this mine games which is also normally not the case I'm sure once they catch on to the price and how sought after this pop is they will put it up so definitely got lucky on this one guys so it does come with a base guys but I'm just gonna show it to you like this so oh I really love the pose guys and I love yeah I hope the camera is picking up that kind of blue guys it really makes it have like a real digital looking look which I love here's the glow that is also super sick guys oh man what a dope pop definitely my favorite from the entire line and I am super happy and lucky to have it in my collection so after my games guys I did go over to GameStop. And you've probably heard me call it EB Games before. That's because my location still has EB Games bag. So over there we did get a new Paldea Evolved 3 pack, which I'm super psyched to open up. We're gonna definitely do that at the end of this video. And then another one that I was really, really lucky to find, guys, and I even got my edge discount on it, so I was super, super stoked. But we do have the 2023 Star Wars Celebration R2-D2 and R5-D4 2-pack. So this one is really epic, guys, and I think for sure a future Star Wars Grail. I really love how they did these ones, guys. I love how they're weathered looking. Looking again I love I think Funko does a great job at weathering their figures super realistic looking and R5 D4 was hilarious in my opinion in the new season of Mandalorian so super happy to have that in my Star Wars collection guys a couple other miscellaneous pickups I did get a six pack of soft protectors and a hard stack Funko protector Star Lord Funko soda so I am actually really psyched I have cracked two before and they were two commons so I am really hoping we can get the chase out of this, guys. Here we go. Let's shake this pod for good luck. And I'm not looking at it. We're just going to take the figure out. And the chase is him without his helmet on. So please, come on. Yes! We got the chase! Yes! Let's go! Oh, man. Okay. I'm stoked. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. That is epic. So that is actually my third can guys i gave away a common in our 1k giveaway and i still have the other one. Oh, but i am so so stoked to get that one guys that looks awesome so that is peter quill with his headset and walkman and man am i happy to get that and we do have the chase guys super cool artwork one in 2500 so pretty rare too guys that is a summer convention exclusive from last year and man am i happy okay guys let's keep this luck streak rolling let me tell you so we're definitely cracking into the this paldea evolved three pack now i'm i'm not gonna say i'm feeling lucky because i feel like that jinxes you but that's gotta be a good sign that we just got the chase guys so that is super sick i am gonna show you guys a code card there and then we do have this really nice looking promo guys tink a tink very funny name but i think it's cool and i will show you guys the pack art on those ones so you meow scarada let's get into these guys quit jabber john would be really really cool to get something out of these packs guys sometimes the three packs can be good to you and sometimes they're not so here we go i'm not sure if i even did the code oh geez i didn't guys but whoa we got a good hit okay i did the there's definitely a different card trick to this one but oh snap i don't know Oh, that is a sick looking one, guys. Oh my god. So that's a full art card. Let's see what else we get. I don't, I'm not sure if there's something else. No. Okay, yeah, so that's the hollow. Wow. Okay, that's a sick. That was a good pack, guys. So you get a reverse. 
Sorry, this is my first time opening the Scarlet and Violet era packs as well. Wow. That's a super sick card, guys. So we did also get the Hollow Jump Pluff as well. Okay, so that was a pretty good hit, guys, I would say. Like I said, I'm not sure of the card trick. So we are just going to run through this, guys. And starting off, we do have the Noibat. I'm not sure where the hits are, guys. So that's the only reason I'm not doing the card trick. When it gets shiny, that means we're getting close. <laughs> I think that's the reverse. Okay, so just a hollow on that one, guys, but it was still a white code card, so technically two hits. You know what? That was funner the way we did it last time. We'll go right to the hits, guys. Going four to the front. Starting with our reverse and Oh, nothing on this one, guys. Nice. Pax Caliber. Super cool, guys. I love the new packs. Love the new looking cards. Let me know if you've opened any of the new Scarlet and Violet cards. Sorry for the confusion there, guys. That was my very first time opening it. I will get used to it, but that was definitely a sick hit on the full art there. What a fun video, guys. That was super sick. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.